All right, so on this problem, it says that we're dividing by x plus 2 because we want to know if it's a factor or not. So you have the choice to do synthetic or long division here. So if you chose synthetic, then you would set this equal to zero. So you know that x would equal negative two. And if you chose, uh, then you, so you have your negative two and you can set up your synthetic. So you have two, three, negative eight, negative 12. We're gonna break down two. We're gonna multiply negative four. We're gonna add, multiply, negative six, multiply. We get positive 12, which is zero. So that tells us that x plus two is a factor, okay? So and then my quotient that I'm left with after synthetic division is 2x squared minus x minus 6. That's because I divided out an x, so I have to be left with, with one less than the beginning. So instead of a third degree, I'm now down to a second degree, okay? This is not fully factored. So even though it's my quotient, it's not in a fully factored form. So to find it, I'm going to use the x box method or you can do grouping. So we have two times negative six, which is negative 12. We have negative one. So when multiplies to give me negative 12, but adds to give me negative one, that would be negative four and positive three. So inside of my egg, my box, and again, you can do grouping and not the box method. I'm gonna put in my first term, my last term, and I'm gonna put in my numbers that, that I got. I got negative four and three. So I like to say X marks the spot where they go. And now all I'm doing is finding the greatest common factor from each row in each column. So the greatest common factor here is gonna be X. The greatest common factor here is gonna be negative two. The greatest common factor here is gonna be two X. And the greatest common factor here is going to be three, okay? When your outside box is negative, your GCF has to be negative. Just a little hint there. So therefore my, fully factored would be 2x plus 3 times x minus 2, okay? So now my function f of x is fully factored. To find the roots, that means I'm taking each factor and setting it equal to 0. So we have x plus 2 equals 0, we have x minus 2 equals 0, and we have 2x plus 3 equals 0, okay? When I set each one of them equal to 0, I end up with x equals negative 2, x equals positive two, and we have x equals negative three halves, okay? Then you're gonna find the y-intercept. You have a couple ways of finding the y-intercept. Way number one is just plug zero in for everything, or way number two is go back to your original f of x. Remember your y-intercept is always your constant. So my constant is negative 12. So my y-intercept is at zero comma negative 12. Now the review problem is f of negative one. This is review of function notation. So if you have f of negative one, that means that in the function, wherever there is an x, you're going to plug in negative one. So when we're looking for f of, f of negative one, I'm going to have two times negative one to the third plus three times negative one squared minus eight times negative one minus 12. Okay, so I'm going to go through and multiply. That's going to be two times negative one plus three plus eight minus 12. And that's going to give me, we have negative 2 plus 3. Negative 2 plus 3 is going to give us 1 plus 8 minus 12. 1 plus 8 gives us 9. 9 minus 12 gives us negative 3. So f of negative 1 equals negative 3. f of negative x just means that you're plugging, you're going to substitute in a negative x for a positive x. Be careful when you're putting your parentheses in for that. So we have two parentheses negative x to the third plus three parentheses, negative x squared minus eight parentheses, negative x minus 12. I'm sorry, I meant to do that in a different color. Let me change it. I didn't want them to overlap. All right. Now, you're just going to simplify. So that fourth, this will end up being a negative 2x to the third. And it's going to end up being a negative x times a positive 2, which is going to be negative. This is going to stay up. A negative times a negative is going to make a positive x. So it's going to be plus 3x squared. A negative times a negative is going to make a plus 8x. And then negative 12 is not affected. So then this would be my f of x. 
So using this knowledge and review moving forward, please continue to do the remaining sets of problems, thinking about things we've learned in the past. Um, here, this is, says where your f of x equals zero. So you're setting your factored forms equal to zero. Once you have factored it, it makes it so much easier to go ahead and set it equal to zero. Um, so you're taking this and setting it equal to zero and then tell me what x is, okay? Your domain, think about it being a cubic function. Keep that in mind. It being a cubic, what's the domain? What is f of zero? Again, you're substituting it for zero, okay? This is saying, where is f of x greater than or equal to zero? I'm gonna suggest make a little sketch, you know, create a sketch and put your roots and see when is it greater than or equal to zero? Meaning when is this above the x-axis. Okay. Next, finding the intercept, same thing. Finding intercepts is another saying, what are your zeros? What are your roots? Okay, what are your zeros? What are your roots? What is the range? So thinking about again, you have a cubic function. What is the range of a cubic function? Here, it says f of x is less than zero. So now I'm looking for, if I create a sketch, when is it below the x-axis? And again, here, it's just some function notation practice, okay? This assignment is deliberately combining a lot of things that we've talked about and learned over the course of this class. Um, and so just continue to practice them. The final two are you just practicing dividing and writing in fully factored form, okay? Um, your hit for these, make sure that when it gets down to it that you're gonna do grouping. So remember, you're gonna to need to just apply grouping once you get there. Um, and grouping is based off of GCF of two terms at a time, okay? Um, wish you luck, talk to each other, help each other, and that's it.